Okay, so in the last video, I showed you guys how to texture Fortnite character models in UEFN. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get any character model that you want from Fortnite, regardless if it's popular or not, using a program called Fortnite Porting. So this program holds every skin in the game. Uh, it updates uh, because it's going to be connected to your Fortnite game directly. So every time Fortnite updates, um, this program is going to update. So um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install this, how to get it to work. And um, yeah, the first thing we got to do is um, open up the first link I have in the description, which is going to be the link to the Fortnite porting, which is right here, um, which, by the way, shout out to this guy half. Um, he's the one that made this discord maneuver over down to the download tab. And once you have that downloaded, you're going to see this um, look for the most updated message, which as of right now, of uh, October 2nd, it would be this one fortnite porting update v 1.5.3 so this is the most recent one you're always going to want to get the most recent one even if this is the one i'm doing in the video download the most recent one using the button right here when you download it you're going to want to download it onto your desktop i already downloaded it um once you get it here put it onto your desktop and for most people um it's not just going to download immediately like that it's you're going you're to get a folder if you do get a folder you're going to want to right click on the folder and then click extract all and then once you do that, you can open up the folder and then use Fortnite porting. For me, I don't need to do that. Once you have done that, try it and open up Fortnite porting. And if it doesn't work, if it doesn't let you, um, if there's an error sign, what you're going to want to do, open up the second link in the video. This is the .NET runtime. Basically, um, this is just going to help you run programs like this. So once you download it, depending on whether you have a Mac, Linux, or a Windows computer, just have it downloaded. You don't have to do anything with it. Once it's downloaded, try and reopen up Fortnite porting. So that means close it if you have it open and then completely restart it. And then it should let you open up the program. Once you actually have the program opened, you're probably not going to see this immediately. There's probably going to be a different page that's going to look something like something closer to this where it's going to ask you for the game installation. So basically what you have to do is you have to find the exact path, the folder for where you downloaded your Fortnite. So for most people, that's going to be in their local disk drive. So you're going to want to go to your disk drive, go down to program files, Epic Games. And then from here, mine's not going to show up because I already have it connected. But you're going to want to click on the Epic Games folder, click on Fortnite folder, click on Fortnite game folder, the content folder. And lastly, the pack folder. But don't open up the pack folder. Just click on the folder and then click select folder. And then once you have that, go ahead and click select folder and then the page is going to close and it should let you open up into this page. So now once you have this page opened, uh, the next thing we have to do is we have to use Blender. So if you don't already have Blender, um, I'm also going to have a link to this in the description. Download it depending on what computer you have. And once you have Blender open, we're just going to use the normal general file. So go ahead and do that. You're, you're going to see this cube here. You can just click on it, left mouse button, and then just click delete. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to connect Fortnite porting with Blender. So the first thing we have to do is you have to go to edit, go to preferences, go to add-ons, and then click install. Once you're on install, you're going to want to go to desktop because that's where we downloaded it. And then you're going to want to look for the Fortnite porting folder, you're going to want to click on the file, make sure you click install add on. And then once you do install it, you're going to probably get all of these again here. So once you have it installed, you're going to want to click on the search bar or search up. You're going to want to search up Fortnite uh, with that. It'll search up as Fortnite porting. Um, you're going to want to click this little box right here. By default, it shouldn't be checked off. So make sure you turn that on. And then once you do, you can exit out. You don't have to apply that. And just like that, we have Fortnite porting and Blender connected to each other. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find any skin that we want. I'm going to do Veronica. It doesn't matter what skin you do. I'm just going to, I'm going to use Veronica because I like this skin. So what we're going to do is we're going to click send to Blender right here. You click send to Blender. Go ahead and you can minimize the tab. And you want to give this a second because it doesn't immediately go through. And just like that, now you can zoom in with the middle mouse button, hold shift, hold middle mouse button so you can move. And as you can see right there, we now have the model in Blender. So the reason we don't do this directly through Unreal Engine is because some people tend to have problems with that. I have problems with that. 
A lot of the times the characters have missing pieces of clothing, like their hair is missing or like the eyes don't come out with the textures properly. Or something is just always bug with it. It seems to be a lot more consistent when we actually use it through Blender instead. Yeah, so we're, we usually just always do it through Blender. It's just a safer option. So yeah, um, once you have it in here, you can click up here and these up right buttons. This is basically just to texture the character. Give it a second. And I guess you can just use this to make sure that the character looks fine can actually uh turn off the the skeletal structure here i like to always check the character a little bit to make sure that there's nothing wrong with it you know like so like the textures are missing or something because some some skins do that but yeah as long as you see that the character is fine we're gonna export this now so we can put it into unreal engine so you want to go down to the file you're gonna want to go click export and then we're gonna export this as an fbx file so once you do that I like to put these under my my documents folder because it's just easier to find there and it just makes sense to put it there. I'm going to type this one, the name of the skin, just to make it easier. Veronica export. Now we have the FBX file. So now what we're going to want to do, open up Unreal Engine and we're going to move away from this one over here and open up content jar on the bottom left. Uh, we're going to click and make a new folder here just to kind of show you how, to, how this works. Um, I'm just going to title it the name of this skin again just to make it easier i'll title it veronica one but you can title it wherever you want now that we have this folder open uh go ahead and click import all we're gonna want to go down to where you saved the, the fbx file and then look for the one that you saved and then click open give it a second and a window should pop up okay there's the window i like to click reset all just to make sure everything is fine here that none of these accidentally got ticked off by something and you can go ahead and click import all and now it's going to import all the meshes and everything. So you can close out of this one. And then you can click clear here and go ahead and close out. So now we have the folder over here. And we have skeletal mesh, the skeleton, and the physics asset. Along with all the materials so that we can texture. So this one comes with four uh, materials that we can texture. Normally it's three to five. So this is kind of in between. So we have the head texture, we have the hair texture, we have the face accessory, which is most likely going to be the hat, and the body texture. So for the sake of this video, I'm not going to be texturing the skin just because I already have a tutorial for that. And if you're interested in seeing that, pay attention to the top right of the screen. I'm going to put the link there if you want to go watch that. Here, I'm going to use the physics asset. So I'm just going to click and drag out into the world here. Now, uh, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So I want to use a scaling tool. I'm going to hold the middle button and I'm going to scroll upwards to make it bigger. You can make it as big as you want. You could also make it smaller. I might have to actually get closer to do that. There you go. So now we have this character here, which is the one that we used in Fortnite boarding. Yeah, you basically can just do this with any skin that you want. You can still texture it whether or not you do it through here or through the other method that I showed in the other video. But I just prefer this method because you can do any single skin that you want. It's usually just more accurate and it's easier to do this way sometimes. But yeah, um, if you learned something new in this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, it helps me out. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one.